was 29 years ago, 20 years ago, one year ago. The annual December 6th vigil in honor of the victims of the Cole Paulina Tech massacre and local victims of gender-based violence was held on Thursday, December 6th on Blockhouse Island in Brockville. The event was held at the Women's Monument on Blockhouse Island, hosted by the Victims Issues Coordinating Committee in the Leeds and Grenville Interval House, in honor of the victims of the 1989 Ecole Pauline Tech massacre, and also in remembrance of local women lost to gender violence. So good evening and thank you once again for joining us this evening to remember, to mourn, and to honor the thousands of women who have lost their lives to violence. 29 years ago today, Wednesday, December 6th, between 5.10 and 5.30 p.m., 14 women were gunned down at Ecole de Polytechnique simply because they were women. Tonight, I remember Natalie Croto from Montreal. She was another graduating mechanical engineer she planned to take a two-week vacation in Cancun, Mexico with Colgan at the end of the month. I also remember Anne Curry, who was a local 35-year-old woman living in an apartment here in town, and she was my friend. We remember jean Bergeron. She was a second-year scholarship student in mechanical engineering. She played the clarinet and sang in a professional choir. In her spare time, she played basketball and swam. Locally, we also remember Stephanie Stevenson. She was a 33-year-old woman living in Brockville. Stephanie was a nurse at Brockville General Hospital, and she has two children. Barbara Daniel was uh, expecting to graduate at the end of the year. She was a teaching assistant for her father, Pierre, who was a mechanical engineering professor with the city's other French language engineering school at the University of Quebec in Montreal. Uh, the local is a uh, Carrie Walters. She was 25 years old and her daughter was also a victim. Her daughter was 11 months old and they were both from Carleton Place, Lanark County. Interval House has organized a vigil in memory of Carrie and her daughter Starla. In attendance were family members who have lost loved ones, various agency members and guest speakers to shed light on the importance of advocacy against gender violence. Special guest was Jose Brault, who spoke and played two songs at the event. How many roads must a man walk down before you can call him a man? Yes, and how many seas must a white dove sing before she sleeps in the sand? How many times must the cannonball fly before they're forever banned? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the at the end of the ceremony, candles were lit in honor of those who have been lost and a rose placed as well. That too many people have died. The answer, my friend, is blowing in. For Hometown TV 12 News, Dale Elliott in Brockville. The answer is blowing in the wind.